Philly fat. Welcome back to Philly Fame TV once again. I mean, appreciate y'all tapping in, appreciate y'all supporting all that, appreciate the feedback, you know how it go and all that. Just wanted to bring y'all this special quick little episode right here, you know, you know, for those who, who heard already, you know, Gilly's son, Cheese, you know, was tragically killed last night. And I don't know, it was a triple shooting that happened, you know, three people got shot. And, you know, he was the only one that died. So, you know, R.I.P. to cheese. Also following developing news out of all the police quarters with the latest on this investigation. Well, good morning to you, Tom. It's a victim of a 28-year-old man found shot in the leg, as well as a 31-year-old man also uh, shot in the leg. So three men, three victims here. And this is what Chief Inspector Scott Small had to say. Now, we know the shooting took place at Masher and Nidro. That's where we found 10 spent shell casings. So we know 10 shots were fired from a semi-automatic weapon. And that's where all three of these victims were struck. And the two that we transported, the 25-year-old who died and the 28-year-old shot in the leg, ran about one block from that location. And that's where police found them. The 31-year-old was able to get into a car and drive himself. Now, officers from the 35th District, uh, 35th District did arrive to find that scene, those spent shell casings, but they did not find a weapon. At this point, uh, the surveillance video that was captured in the neighborhood is going to be really critical uh, to identify who fired those shots. No arrests, no suspects at this point have been announced, but certainly more information to come, especially with it being so fresh, Thomas. But we can confirm that at the very least, this is a deadly triple shooting, yet another shooting in the city. Another active investigation, you said it. Shada, thank you. I mean, very unfortunate situation, man. Praise out to Gilly, you know, condolences to Gilly and his whole family, you know what I mean? It's a real bad, I mean, situation for the city. You know, Gilly got the Gilly Fest coming up on July 29th. They've been promoting the heavy him and Wallow. They got, was going on crazy promo run on the Instagram and all that with different artists that's supposed to be coming out to perform. And they was actually scheduled to uh, go on the Breakfast Club this morning to co-host with Charlemagne and Envy, you know, to promote the Gilly Fest and everything else they had going on. And we I mean, so, the, you know, the death of Cheese, you know, obviously put that to the back burner, you know, and a lot of people speculating about Gilly, you know, canceling Gilly Fest and all that, but, you know, he ain't thinking about that right now. Like, you know, with this going on, this fresh, it just happened. I mean, it's crazy because, you know, unfortunately, we had got the news early before, you know, a lot of other blog sites because we in Philly, obviously, and we wanted the top people in Philly. So we just happened to get the info early and I was trying not to break it. Like, so I kind of sat on the info for a little second. I mean, not trying to put it out there early, like with the PMB Rock situation. Let me touch on that briefly real quick because I was just talking to somebody about that. Uh, when PMB Rock, um, got shot and I mean and died we had posted that you know prayers up for him while he was fighting for his life like everybody else we was like prayers up I mean hoping he survived and all that and then somebody had hit me up like yo he already passed like he died already you know what I mean so I kind of felt crazy like having all these people commenting about you know um prayers up for PNB Rock hope he survived so I pretty much let it be known that he already passed and I mean and a lot of people would wish I got a lot of crazy reaction about because behind that because no other blogs posted about it so a lot of people didn't know if it was real if it, the source was violent and I mean and all of that so from that experience when I got the info about cheese I was trying not to post that freak so I'm like I mean I was trying to wait for other people to talk about it or see somebody else talking about it whatever the case may be so like i didn't want to be first so i kind of waited and then i went on gilly page and i seen people commenting on this page like condolences and all of that so i, I was like damn a lot of people probably already know about it so i mean then i ended up posting it but then i realized like no other blogs had posted it once i seen people comment and their reaction or that so i ended up taking it down like archiving it like i'm gonna just wait until you know other people post it and i mean so i definitely went and try and break that news so apologies to his family or any of his loved ones 
anybody that seen that or felt some type of way about that because that definitely wasn't my intention or it. I just thought somebody else already posted about it because I seen people commenting. So once I realized like none of the other blogs and stuff had posted it or nobody else really knew about it like as much as I thought they did, then I was like, no, nah, I'm gonna take this joint down, just wait, and then put it back up in the morning once everybody else was talking about it. So I just wanted to put that out there. And I mean, definitely went and tried. Would never try disrespect or offend nobody family in no time like this. I mean, just was trying to let the people know and like, I mean, where it's news, you know, you follow the channel, you follow the page, then you know we post a lot about news and stuff that's going on in the city, like. So we just was breaking news like we do with everything else, and, you know. So moving forward, I'm definitely not, I mean, like, I'm definitely not trying to be first to break no news like that. Like, this is crazy. It's a bad drone for the city, you know what I mean? Like, he had a group, him and his brother, making cheese, you know, they was doing these things. Got a couple of videos, you know I mean, a couple songs, you know, Gilly was pushing them heavy. I mean, I don't think he was pushing them as heavy in, in more recent times, so I don't know what they was doing in recent time, but they still was in the mix around. I mean, Gilly just had the Beverly Love game, celebrity basketball game, and you know, the kid is, I mean, Cheese was there, like, so they still be in that mix and shit like that. And then with the music, as far as with the music, I ain't know, like, what the current state of it was. Sure, they probably was gearing up to drop something. I think they dropped something recently, if I ain't mistaken. Like, so you know, it was just a, it was just a sad job, man. Like, like Gilly being a big popular figure that he is, and being who he was from Philly, from back major figure days, and now with million dollars worth of game, and you know all the stuff he been doing in the city for his giving big, with donating money to the small businesses and. I mean, him at Wildo, I mean, doing a lot for the city. So for it to happen to him, a lot of people feel bad for him. A lot of people, you know, reacting on social media, sending their condolences and, you know, all of that type of stuff. So, and one of the craziest parts of it that people was pointing to is, you know, like not even a day before I had posted on a page, Gilly talking about, you know, the violence in Philly and how crazy Philly was and Philly getting sad because he was speaking about another situation where, you know, some people had got shot off Southwest and, you know, a couple of people got shot and an older lady got shot, some kids got shot. So Gilly basically was speaking on that and ranting about that. And it actually, you know, a lot of people was reacting to that, got strong reaction, kind of, you know, got a lot of likes and a lot of comments on that. Post. Philly, we looking real fucking sad out here, Philly. Eight n shot out Southwest, four n dead, two kids shot and somebody grandma. When the fuck n kids and grandmoms been on the menu, man? When, when, when has grandmoms and kids been on the menu, man? It was a time you seen a n you was beefing with a you seen him with his kids, you gave him a pay. Ooh, you lucky you with your kids, bitch. Because you didn't even want that type of karma on you because the kids ain't had nothing to do with this shit. Now y'all can see a he riding down the street, he with his grandma and his aunt. Y'all shoot the whole fucking car up, try to shoot fucking milk and magnesia out his fucking grandma like she had something to do with that shit, man. And you is not even beefing over no fucking money. You you mean to tell me you willing to go to jail, sit in jail for a thousand years for shooting that you didn't even mean to shoot. And this shit ain't even about no money. Come on, man. We got to get back to the old Philly, man. Where, where was into getting money, man. was into getting bitches. was into being fly. And didn't want no motherfucking trouble. We'll shoot you till you catch on fire, but we don't want no trouble. We trying to get money, man. We got to get back to that, man. You out here shooting. About Instagram captions. You said you was going to spend. You ain't spend yet. All right, we spending the day. Man, y'all tripping out here, man. Keep kids and grandmoms off the fucking menu, man. And then for the for not even a day later, his son to get killed. A lot of people went back to that post and was like, damn, that's crazy. He just was talking about the violence in Philly. And now his son get killed. So a lot of people was kind of pointing to that post too. So that was kind of like crazy how that went. How we just posted about that on the page and then posting about his son dying not even a day later. Like, so crazy. No, I just wanted to make this quick bit just to update the people, give my condolences and all that, and touch on the situation. I mean, RIP the cheese, never got a chance to meet him.
Never got a chance to do no work with him, my man. But, you know, obviously we know Gil, the work with Gil and all that. Gil's featured on our first episode out of the trailer, my man. When we first started Fully Fame, that's some of the first footage that we got. My man caught Gil in the studio, I believe he's down back cave. And he gave us a nice little drop. And we used that for our um, trailer. And then, you know, Gil go back, like, so... It's definitely sad to see this happen to him. So I repeat the cheese. Once again, condolences to the family. Condolences to your loved ones. I mean, we're going to end this episode on that little brief little episode, special episode, specifically just to update y'all and, you know, pay our respects. I repeat the cheese. Once again, I mean, we're signing out Philly Fame TV. Until next time, we out of here.